good morning students today i recapitulate what we learned on previous session integral a to b fx dx is equal to fx a to b this is equal to fb minus fe it means the the value of anti derivative of upper limit minus the value of anti derivative of lower limit i will show the diagram let y is equal to fx is a curve a and b are limits this is the area of the region bounded by the curve y is equal to fx with ordinates x is equal to a and x is equal to b with x axis so consider a problem evaluate integral 0 to 2 6x plus 3 by x square plus 4 dx the solution integral 0 to 2 6x plus 3 by x square plus 4 dx. This I can split as sum of two integrands as 0 to 2 6x by x square plus 4 dx plus integral 0 to 2 3 by x square plus 4 dx. This I can express as 1 by 3 into integral 0 to 2 2x dx by x square plus 4. Plus three zero two two one by x square plus two square into dx. This is equal to if you take x square plus four is equal to t and derivative is there. We know that integral of f dash x by f x dx is equal to log x square plus four. So this is equal to logarithm of x square plus four zero two two plus. This is by using the formula integration of one by x square plus a square dx. Is equal to one by a tan inverse x x by a. I use this condition to evaluate this part. This is three times one by two tan inverse x by two zero to two. So this is equal to applying upper limits and lower limits in this value. So this is equal to logarithm of two square is four four plus four is eight minus X is equal to zero. It is equal to logarithm of four plus three by two into tan inverse f x by two. Put x is equal to here tan inverse one minus x is equal to zero tan inverse zero. So this is three into. Now apply the loss of logarithms. Logarithm of a minus logarithm of b is equal to log a by b. This is equal to logarithm of eight by four plus. 3 by 2, tan inverse 1. So we know that tan inverse of tan pi by 4, tan pi by 4 is equal 1. So tan inverse of tan pi by 4 is equal pi by 4. This I will write as pi by 4 minus tan inverse of 0, tan inverse of tan 0, tan 0 is 0. So I can write tan inverse 0 is equal 0. So this is equal 3 log 2 plus 3 by 2 into pi by 4. It is equal to 3 log 2 plus 3 by 3 pi by 8. So this is the solution of the given definite integral. So next I will go to introduce the proper some properties of definite integrals. Properties of definite integrals. These properties of definite integrals will be helpful. to evaluate the given questions in easy way one integral a to b fx dx is equal to integral a to b ft dt this is change of the variable by changing the variable x to t then integral a to b fx dx becomes a to b ft dt second one integral a to b fx dx is equal to minus of integral b to a fx dx my dear children 
look here integral a to b f x d x can be written as minus times b to a. So, means we are changing the limits upper limit to lower limit and lower limit to upper limit. So, that the sign will affect as a negative sign. In particular integral 0 to a a to a f x d x is clearly 0 the third one. Now, the other property of definite integral is integral a to b f x d x is equal to integral a to c f x d x plus integral c to b f x d x. We can split the interval a to b as if c is a point between a and b then it is divided as a sum of two parts. So, we can express the integral a to b f x d x is equal to sum of the two areas that is integral a to c f x d x plus integral c to b f x d x. So, we will go to fourth property integral a to b f x d x is equal to integral a to b f of a plus b minus x d x. This is by taking the substitution a plus b minus x is equal to then that it will get this result. The fifth property integral 0 to a f x d x is equal to integral 0 to a f of a minus x d x. See here I will take the substitution a minus x is equal to t and automatically the limits of limits upper limit and lower limit also changes after calculation we will get 0 to a f x d x is equal to integral 0 to a f of a minus x d x. Yes, still done? My dear students now we will go to property 6 integral 0 to 2 a f x d x is uh, 0 to a integral 0 to a f x d x plus integral 0 to a f of 2 a minus x d x if f of 2 a minus x is equal to f of x. Otherwise, it becomes 0 if f of 2 a minus x is equal to minus f x. It means that above one is even, the second one is a odd function. The formula gives is equal to integral a to b f a, 0 to a f x d x plus integral 0 to 2 a f of 2 a minus x d x if it is even. Now, this is equal to 0 if this is a odd function. Now, the last property 1 integral of minus a to a f x d x is equal to 2 times integral 0 to a f x d x if the given function is even function. Even means that is f of minus x is equal to f x and minus integral minus a to a f x d x becomes 0 if the function f x is a odd function that means f of minus x is equal to minus f x. I will solve some problems based on these properties. So, dear children, I will solve first one by substitution method. Let x plus 2 is equal to t square, x is equal to t square minus 2. This implies dx is equal to 2t dt. Applying limits, upper limit and lower limit. Upper limit, x is equal to 2, x is equal to 2 and t is equal to root 2 and lower limit, x is equal to 0 and t is equal to root 2 and here t is equal sorry x is equal to 2 t is equal to 2 lower limit x is equal to 0 t becomes root 2. Then integral 0 to 2 x into x plus root 2 dx here variable changes. So, we can change the intervals also by substitution that is equal to it is equal to root 2 to 2 x is equal to t square minus 2 into it is t into 2 t dt root of x plus 2 is equal to root t is t and dx is equal to 2 t dt. This implies root 2 to 2 then I will take direct substitution t square into 2 t square is equal to 2 t power 4 minus 2 t and t t is equal to 4 t square dt. Then the next proceeds integration of t power 4 is t power 5 by 5. So, I will write 2 into t power 5 by 5 minus 4 into t square is equal to integration of t square is equal to t power 3. So, it is t power 3 by 3 integral uh, limits 0 to root 2 to 2. Now, we will substitute by applying the formula f b minus f a. So, this is equal to 2 by 5 32 minus 4 by 3 into it is 8. This is equal to minus of 2 by 5 root 2, 
2 by 5 root 2 is equal to 4 root 2, it is 8 by 8 root 8 root 2 by 5 minus root 2 whole cube is equal to 2 root 2, this is equal to 8 root 2 by 3. On calculation, so 32 is equal to 64, 64 minus 32 is equal to 32. 64 by 5 minus 32 by 3 minus this is equal to 8 root 2 by 5 plus 8 root 2 by 3. On solving, it is equal to LCM I will take 1 by 15. 1 by 15, 15 is equal, this is equal to 5 into 3, 3 means 96, 96 is 192, 192 minus 160, next minus again 8 root 2 by 5 plus 8 root 2 by 3. So, this is equal to 32 by 15 plus you take again LCM, this is equal to minus 24 root 2 plus 40 root 2. This gives 32 by 15 plus 16 root 2 by 15. We can get this result by substitution method. Now, second question. Integral 0 to pi by 2 sin square x dx. This I apply the properties of definite integrals. Let I will take this is equal to i. Applying the properties of different integral property, 0 to f x dx is equal to integral 0 to f of a minus x dx. So, I will write this is equal to 0 to pi by 2 sin pi by 2 minus x whole square into dx. Since 0 to a f x dx is equal to integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx. So, we use this property to evaluate this question. This is integral 0 to pi by 2 cos square x dx. I will call this is 1 and let it be assumed that it is 2. Adding 1 and 2, what we will get? Adding 1 and 2, we get it is i, it is also i. So, then this is equal to 2 i. 2 i is equal to 0 to pi by 2 sin square x plus cos square x gives 1 into dx. Since we know that sin square plus cos square is equal to 1. So, this is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 dx, it is uh, x 0 to pi by 2. So, therefore, i is equal to 2 i is equal to pi by 2 minus 0 implies this is equal to pi by 2, i is equal to pi by 4. So, this is the easy way to solve, evaluate the question using definite uh, properties of different integrals. Uh, dear children, so see here there are two questions. One, evaluate integral 0 to pi x tan x dx by secant x plus tan x and second question evaluate integral 0 to pi by 2 sin x by 1 plus cos x square into dx. So, can you say that which property we use here? The property which we use here is integral 0 to f x dx is equal to integral 0 to f of a minus x dx. So, I will solve this one let i is equal to integral 0 to pi x into tan x dx by secant x plus tan x. So, applying the definite pro, def, properties of definite integrals 0 to pi pi minus x into tan pi minus x dx upon secant pi minus x plus tan pi minus x. This is very, very important question for an examination point of view. Since integral 0 to f x dx is equal to integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx, I use this property for this question. So, this is gives 0 to pi pi minus x. What is tan pi minus x? The tan pi minus x here the angle lies in second quadrant, tan has negative. So, tan pi minus x is minus tan x upon secant pi minus x. 
angle nice in second quadrant, secant A has negative, so secant pi minus x is minus secant x minus tan x dx. So, this is equal 0 to pi. Now, here minus pi come minus is taken common minus of secant plus tan minus of tan. So, minus get cancel. I will write this is minus of x into tan x upon secant x plus tan x. So, this can be written as pi tan x by secant x plus tan x minus integral 0 to pi x tan x dx by secant x plus tan x. This is separated into sum of two in, uh, integrals. This is equal to integral 0 to pi, I will take pi outside since it is a constant. So, now you can change it as tan x is equal to sin by cos x, secant x is equal to 1 by cos x and tan x is equal to sin by cos x, it is one method. The second method also you can write as multiplying numerator and denominator by secant x minus tan x. This is equal 0 to pi x tan x dx by secant x plus tan x is uh, we assume it as i. So, I write this as i. So, we bring this side to left hand side i plus i is equal to 2 i. 2 i is equal to in pi times 0 to pi I will multiply this one secant x into tan x minus tan square x upon this is a plus b into a minus b formula. So, secant plus tan into secant minus tan is equal to secant square minus tan square. So, it gives the value 1. So, I will write directly 1 dx. So, this is equal to pi into integral 0 to pi secant x tan x dx minus pi into integral 0 to pi. I will write tan square as secant square x minus 1. So, this is equal to pi into this is integration of secant x tan x. We know that integration of secant x tan x is equal to secant x. So, I write this as secant x 0 to pi minus pi into I can split as integral 0 to pi secant square x dx plus pi into 0 to pi dx. Now, this gives 2i is equal to pi. So, apply the limits secant pi minus secant 0, secant pi minus secant 0 minus pi into integration of secant square x is tan x that we know that integration of